Recap. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Quirk from CBTV. Hey, it's your boy Chris from CBTV. Now, today we're coming out to show another video. It is to Kanye, Future, Metro Woman, and Kendrick Lamar. I like that remix. You know what I'm saying? Bro, they brought Kanye in here. That's what I'm saying, bro. 20, bro, this year. Bro, this is crazy, bro. This music is it's like, it's, we're back in 2016 type levels when it comes to music, bro. At this point, bro, like I said, Drake is. Thanos, bro. He's Thanos, bro. Everybody's coming together to take down one man. They trying their hardest, bro. You know what I'm saying? The one, one thing I do respect about Dre is he is holding his he he, he holding his own, and everybody's going at all. I do like that. Yeah, it really is. It, it's tough, but I didn't want this. I didn't want everybody to go at him. I only wanted one person. I wanted Kendrick versus Dre. Yeah. The actual, I wanted the real beef to come between them two. I wanted Kendrick and Dre. Supposed to be just meet them two, leave everybody else out. Of Everybody's in here. Now everybody, yeah, everybody's in, in it now. But uh, yeah, it's cool to hear the new Kanye verse though. So that's cool. I haven't heard anything from this at all. I don't know anything what he said or anything. So only the one line, mm. one line, okay. and I gotta see a reaction on that line. That's, that line's funny as hell. I don't know. I, I don't know when he gonna do it, but that line was kind of like what the hell. Y'all probably know what line I'm talking about too before we start the video. Y'all know y'all know exactly what line I'm talking about. Yeah, because I have no clue. I have, I have never seen anything. I, look, I'm not the biggest Kanye fan. You know what I'm saying? Just be honest with y'all. Kanye, he's good, obviously, but I'm just not a super Kanye fan like most people. Yeah. But, so yeah, I, I don't really keep up with him, so I don't know what happened. I didn't even notice even drop for real for real until like, like, probably like an hour ago. Yeah, I think it was like a, a leak or whatever. And then um, Kanye himself got on some type of thing, some show or something. He was like, yeah, this is my verse on the remix. I'm like, oh, okay. So this is real. I thought, people, I thought it was AI too. Yeah. But nah, we here. Well, That's crazy. And we gonna, we gonna see. Well, let's get into it. Man, we gonna take this pussy nigga out. Yo, God, I got you. Oh, uh, he said. Out. Get the hooligans up here. We're gonna take this pussy nigga out. Yo, Dad, I got you. Oh, oh my god. Yo, Dad, I got you. <laughs> That's cool though. I mean, hey, it's, it's Drake and DJ Academic versus Kanye and Kendrick. It's perfect. Same. So they basically it's a one on two. As y'all can tell, I'm a Drake fan. He's a Kendrick guy. Obviously, as y'all can tell, I'm a Kanye guy too. Oh, yeah, oh, so I love Kanye. Kanye to me is top three. Top three, top five all time, I should say, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, let's, let's, let's see what you're talking about, man. It ain't Kanye unless some extra bullshit. It ain't Kanye unless some extra bullshit going on with the song. He got to do some, some, I mean, he's different. He's different. He's different. He's different. He's different. I love the sound. Okay, I didn't expect that at all. Nah, I didn't, I didn't expect, expect that. that. I thought it was gonna be the same beat. That'd be crazy. Nah, that'd be, that'd be nuts. Hold on a minute. Kanye produced it, didn't he? Let me know in the comments. I'm sure Kanye probably produced that. Okay, yeah. Hey, I'll tell you about what I just said. I expected it to be like that, bro. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm now. Right, let's, let's run this battle. Let's run this is crazy. No, what the hell? You know we had to get the hooligans up here. We're gonna take this pussy nigga out. Yo, Dad, I got you. Yo, Dad, I got you. <laughs> No, it's dope. He said he treated bad, but like, he treated all the girls the same. That's what he's trying to say. What he's trying to say is, you know, I don't care how bad you are or how fat you are, I'm going to treat you the exact same how, how, I see, how I see you, you know what I mean? But why did he say that, though? Like, I'll treat a bad bitch like a fat bitch. Because fat women, a lot of them, 
is kind of looked down upon, you know, in America. You know, the Lizzo's and, you know, the different girls, they all look at that. So Kanye's trying to uplift him by saying that in his own Kanye way. That's why I like Kanye. That's not what the nigga doing, man. The nigga literally saying that he cheated a, a bad bitch bad, bro. That ain't, that's what the nigga saying, <laughs> hey, bro. Right. <laughs> see how, bro, do you, y'all see how, nah, bro. y'all see how Kendrick and Kanye fans do, bro? That's not what he was saying, bro. He basically saying that he don't give a fuck if she bad or not. He's still gonna cheat him, you know what I'm saying, any type of way is what he's trying to say. Nah, he's just he's trying to uplift. He's like, cause you know niggas like treat bad. They treat bad women uh, different different than other people. You know what I mean? They they being um what's that word? Not racist, but uh, they discriminate. You can't discriminate all, all women. You gotta treat all women the same. That's what it is. So I like what he's trying to say right there. Y'all know what I mean. Y'all understand me? You're lost, brother. You're lost. <laughs> Get money again on my cat wingers when they get funny again. Yeah, you see they try to count me out. I like that. We just hit a number one. We right back. Five hundred down on the bottom, five hundred up at the top. Titanium grip, call that smile on the box. I done had everything that you able to get. I ain't been in drill too. I ain't gonna lie, it was chops. Titanium grip, call that smile on the box. I done had He's talking about Drake, right there. Could be. Take on on J Cole. J Cole is a great lyricist. Mm -hmm. Y'all might get on me in the comments, bro. That nigga's a great lyricist, right? But that nigga is boring as fuck. He puts me to sleep, bro. Which was so crazy and ironic because Kyle Cole made that song. I know we missed we missed the reaction. Yeah. I know. How the hell are you gonna say your second album was just, well was put me to sleep, nigga? You tried to make your album to, uh, for for your eyes only to sound and. Be like Tamir Butterfly and that backfired. That was the most boring thing I ever heard in my life. It, it's just funny, bro, because everybody knows this nigga's boring, but him, bro. Uh, <laughs> everybody but J. Cole thinks he, he's boring, bro. I, gotta, I feel bad for Cole. Too. Everybody okay, okay, bro. This, bro, he, he fucked up, though. Yeah, he really did, bro. I mean, you gotta say something now. Kanye, you, you gotta say something. How you, you, why did you back out, bro? He can't say shit, honestly, anymore. Yeah. He already backed out. I think, I'm sorry. Cause they gonna say, apologize, bro. Yeah, cause then they, they gonna say, if Cole, uh, they're gonna be like, oh, you uh, said something to Kanye, why you ain't saying to Kendrick? Exactly. Dang. Did that, yeah, that's the same. What this nigga say to hold on. Out of mind, I can't even think of a Drake line. Okay, that's Play J. Cole, get the pussy dry. Wow. Play this shit back 130 times. Damn. Future? Ain't either. <laughs> 
That's my first time ever hearing uh, someone call their Chanel's uh, Shanae on their feet. Like Shanae on their feet. Chanel's. Oh, that's what that was? I think. Chanel got shoes, don't they? I don't think so. They don't? Oh. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, maybe. We take through the week. Kendrick Lamar's dissing her too. We gonna have to see that. Pop another bottle if you like it. If you like it. DJ Spaz. Crazy as I thought it was gonna be though, because people on Twitter made it seem like it was just crazy. Yes. I mean, <clears throat> it was a regular Kanye. I'm about to say it sounded like a typical Kanye verse to me. Yeah, it, was, it was a regular Kanye verse. Besides the J Cole, that was crazy. And he actually name dropped. His name. Bro, what's up? Why you name dropping? Yeah, it's no more subliminal shit now. Niggas just name dropped. Cole. I mean, Kanye and Drake been dissing Drake for years, and this dude Kanye finally mentions Drake's name on the diss song. Yep. That lie was a lie. Man. That was crazy. <laughs> I ain't gonna leave said that. Yeah. Damn. Everybody know Drake line. Yeah, that, come on now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Hey. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. That is too hard, I guess. Bro, are, are, you, are you just saying it because you're, you know? I don't think I am, bro. I don't think I'm just saying it because I'm a Drake fan, bro. It's just, it's, it's okay. I like the verse. I like the beat. That beat was, that beat was the one that beat was fire. That made the song yeah. beat the beat. Kanye did it. It was cool. solid. It was cool. It wasn't nothing crazy, but the J. Cole line got me. But other than that, it was solid. It was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, that's the video. Once again, make sure to leave a like. Make sure I comment. And keep on subscribing, man. We're on the way to 20K. Get us there as fast as possible, man. We would appreciate it. More for the do we out. Hey, man. I'm taking all day, ain't you? Yeah.